In this video, we will show you how to fit a carpet with gripper and underlay. We have chosen an action-backed carpet. In your toolbox, you will need hammer, nails, pencil, gloves, goggles, dust mask, pliers, hacksaw, brush, measuring tape, straight edge, masking tape, gaffer tape, adhesive spray, Stanley knife, trim master, staple gun, gripper shears, knee kicker, carpet tucker. Step one, floor preparation. Sweep or hoover the floor thoroughly and make sure any nails or screws are knocked flush with a hammer. If your floorboards are very uneven, you may want to watch our floor leveling video for some floor leveling tips. Step two, installing a dust barrier. If you're fitting a carpet on top of traditional floorboards, we advise laying paper felt to prevent dust and drafts rising up through the floorboards. This is fixed with either spray adhesive or tape, leaving a four inch gap around the perimeter. Step three, installing the gripper. We recommend dual purpose medium pin gripper, which is generally suitable for most wooden and concrete floors. The gripper pins are angled and should point towards the skirting board. The gripper should be nailed, leaving a six millimeter gap from the skirting board into which the carpet can be tucked. Placing a small piece of 6mm ply between the gripper and skirting will ensure correct spacing and prevent you damaging the skirting with your hammer. Step 4. Fitting the door bar. There are three main types of door bar. Carpet to carpet, carpet to vinyl, carpet to tile or laminate. Measure the width of the doorway at floor level where the bar will sit. Mark the door bar and cut the bar to this width with a hacksaw. So that the door bar fits under the door, you must cut a notch for the door frame. Turn the door bar over and cut a notch about an inch in from both ends. Nail or screw the bar into place using nails or screws provided. Step 5. Installing the underlay. Roll the underlay out in strips, leaving an inch overlapping the gripper. Using a staple gun, staple only around the perimeter to hold the underlay in place. Now tape the joints with gaffer tape to stop the underlay creasing up under the carpet. With a straight blade in a utility knife, cut the underlay to the edge of the gripper and dispose of the cutoffs. Your room is now ready for carpet. Step six, layout. Before making any cuts to the carpet, lay it out in the room and ensure that it meets all walls allowing an additional overlap of at least 75 millimeters or three inches to allow for cutting in. Gently tap the carpet with the knee kicker just enough to ensure the carpet lays flat. For any alcoves, fold the carpet back on itself and ensure it is the depth of the alcove plus 75 millimeters or three inches, then cut back at a 45 degree angle to allow an overlap when the carpet is laid down. Step seven, cutting in. First, adjust the trim master to suit your carpet. Then, using the knee kicker, stretch the carpet onto the gripper, creasing the corner with your tucker so that the carpet is pressed firmly onto the pins. Press the trim master into the corner and applying constant pressure, slide it along the wall, cutting the carpet as you go. Next, with the carpet tucker, tap the edge of the carpet into the gap between the gripper and the skirting. Move to the opposite wall and repeat, ensuring you stretch the carpet flat with your knee kicker. Continue in the same manner around the entire room until you get to the doorway. Step eight, cutting into the door bar. Fold the carpet back on itself and using a sharp blade in a utility knife, mirror the shape of the architrave with your cut. Do the same at the other end. Lay the carpet flat over the door bar and make cuts at either end of the carpet around six millimeters from the edge. Fold the carpet back and with a straight edge as a guide, cut the excess off. We use a door bar, but you can use any straight edge. Fold the carpet back down and tuck into the door bar. Finish with a gentle tap with the knee kicker. Step nine, admire your work. Your carpet is now perfectly fitted the knee kicker way. Find out more how-to videos at kneekicker.co.uk.